All right, we are back to class. So let's solve um, this simple problem. So this class is for just calculations. We'll be solving so many problems on um, on vector, okay? Resolution of vector. And uh, if you look at this, uh, it's very simple. What do you do? The first thing you do, let's share it by horizontal and vertical. This is uh, the horizontal. This is the vertical. Now, let us resolve. Before you resolve, let me get this side. Okay. The first force, want to resolve everything to horizontal. This is the first force, 12. This is towards all St. Teresa's College. So this is towards. So I'm going to have um, uh, 12, 12 cos 60. This is 12 cos 60. Okay. That's the first one. Then the second one, let's talk about, I want to go this way. The second one is, uh, is 20. 20 is towards again, but it's now in the left-hand side. So it's going to be what? Minus 20 cos 40 degrees. Okay? Then the next one, the next one is what? This is the next force. This next force, we are resolving like this towards okay we want to take it to this side we are resolving this way so it go, it's going to be 16 cos 90 i hope you know because from here to here is 90 degrees everything here is 90 degrees from here to you get here is 90 degrees okay that's why we use the um, uh, 16 cos uh, cos 90 degrees okay so the next thing we are resolving is um, we are resolving 15. 15 is moving like this. Sorry, it's moving like this. I want everything to go to the horizontal. This one moved to the horizontal. This one moved to the horizontal. This one moved to the horizontal. Now this one is moving to the horizontal. So it's going to be what? Uh, 15 sine 30. Because it is against or away. Okay, it's a way. Now, the last one is 10. 10 is not moving any, anywhere, so it's moving to itself, so uh, it's zero. So I'm going to say 10, is it a way or towards? I think it's, um, it's cos, it's towards itself, towards itself, so it will be 10 cos, 10 cos, uh, 10 cos zero, okay? 10 cos zero. We are done with this. Then let's now resolve to the vertical. We are resolving to the vertical. I'm starting with the same 12. 12 moving like this. This is away from the 60. So it's going to be what? 12 sine 60 degrees. Okay? Look at the next force. Away from the 40. So it's going to be what? Uh, 20 sine 40. Okay? The next one is um, uh, this one moving towards itself. So it's moving towards itself. I'm going to say... Uh, minus 16 minus 16 cos 0 it's not moving anywhere it's moving to itself okay minus 16 cos 0 so the next one we are, we are using is um, the last this one is 15 15 is moving to this side so and it's moving towards that so it will be what minus 15 I'm using minus because it is down minus 15 cos 30 okay and the last one 10 10 is moving like this towards this angle okay and it is a uh, 10 uh, cos 90 okay so that is that as simple as that so the next thing you're going to do is what um, you're going to get the just get the answer to all these things get the answer to all these things get the answer to all of them after getting the answer to all of them then what do you do you sum them to get the total the total force for y for x axis you get the total then the total force for y axis you get the total then the resultant r square will now be what f squared plus y um, f y squared okay so resultant become the square root of uh, both of them i getting it now so if you want to get your direction you say what tan alpha is equal to what f of y over f of x so alpha becomes the tan inverse of uh, f of y over 
f of s. So with this, I think you have uh, you've learned it. With this, you've learned it. So just get the answer and tell me what the answer is at the comment section. So let's solve more questions on on resolution of vectors. So the next question we'll look at is um okay. It says find the tension. Find the tension in both in both strings okay and we have this they started from a point and moved this way and this way okay and here is 60 degrees tension one here is 30 degrees tension two and i have here to be 40 newton okay now let us resolve horizontally if you are resolving horizontally know that that uh, for horizontal components horizontally horizontally we are going to say that what this side for this side will be what we are resolving towards this so it's going to be what that t1 all sense towards this cos so t1 cos 60 is equal to the left hand side, okay? It's going to be equal to the left hand side, which is equal to what? T2 uh, cos 30. I'm getting it now. Uh -huh. So, and uh, cos 60 is half. So, T1 is simply uh, 2T2 cos 30. Did you get that? No, you did not. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so this is a cos, cos 60 is half now. So, I'm having what? T1 times 1 over 2. Is equal to t2 cos 30. Cos 30 is um, root 3 over 2. So I'm having um, this two times this. So I'm having a t1 is equal to what? t2 root 3 over 2 times 2. So these two cancel these two. So I'm having that t1 is equal to what? Root 3 t2. Okay, I've gotten this. So the next thing we are going to look at is um, let's resolve it vertically. If we are resolving it vertically, we are going to resolve vertically now. Vertically. Vertically, we are resolving vertically. Like this, to this, to this. So all the one up should be equal to all the one down. So if I resolve T1, is a way. So I'm going to say that T1 sine 30 plus everything up plus T2 sine, sorry, sine 30. Okay, is equal to the one down, is equal to 40 that is down. Okay, so let me anyway. I see, um, okay, this is what t1 root 3 over 2 plus t2 over 2 because this is 1 over 2. Okay, is equal to 40. And I have that um, t1 is root 3 t2. So anyway, I see t1, I can put root 3 t2. So I'll say root 3 t2 bracket root 3 over 2 i have be getting that plus root 2 um sorry t2 over 2 is equal to 40 40 now root 3 times root 3 is 3 so we are going to have let me clean this we are going to have um, 3 t2 over 2 plus t2 over 2 is equal to 40 so the lcm is uh, multiply everybody by 2 i have 3 t2 plus t1 t2 is equal to 8 multiplying everybody by 2 so this and this will give me 4 t2 is equal to 80 so t2 is equal to 80 divided by 4 so t2 is equal to 20 newton so if i've gotten that t2 is 20 newton so t1 is what root 3 t2 so t1 is equal to what 20 root 3 newton so that is that okay the next question I hope you understood. Okay, the next question said a nail, a nail on a vertical wall is pulled, is pulled by, by means of a cord attached attached to its head 
if the chord makes an angle of 60 degrees to the horizontal and it exerts and it exerts a force of 80 newton on the nail calculate i the effective force which which tends to pull the nail out okay two the force the force which tends to bend the nail okay so now if you look at this very well let us draw it drawing it will help us so this is a, a vertical wall and there is a nail here and this boy wants to pull this nail okay he wants to pull the nail with his force and the force he's using to pull this nail is 18 newton and they say that this uh, that if the cord makes an angle sits with the horizontal so I'm going to draw a horizontal like this and then make my angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal okay now and if you know if you notice that this boy if he's pulling it he's pulling it horizontally he's pulling it horizontally so uh one the question number one said the force he that is required to pull it so i'm going to resolve this horizontally so the one that is used to the, to pull it so the force that is required to pull it is fx horizontally which is what f since it is towards the angle it will be cos cos what theta which is what 80 cos 60 which is 40 degrees so i i the force that is required to bend it, if it's going to bend it, it means that it will be going towards the, the, the vertical. So since it's going towards the vertical, I'm going to have that Fy should be equal to what? F, and it is against this. So F sine theta, which is equal to what? 80 sine 60, which is what? 80 root 3 over 2, which is what? 40 root 3 Newton. As simple as that. Okay? So... Let's solve uh, two, two or more questions and then we are good to go. The next question we are going to solve. The next question we are going to solve says that uh, we have three forces like this. This is 10 Newton. 17 Newton. And this one met at 90 degrees. And this one goes this way. I'm having... One from here to here, 150 Newton, and they say we should calculate F. Okay, now if I want to calculate F, let me say this is like this I want to get everywhere the horizontal and the vertical. Now, you know that this is angle on a straight line, and if here is 150, angle on a straight line is 180, so 180 minus 150, I'm getting that here is 30. And if here is 30, this angle is what? Is 60 degrees. Okay? So what do we do now? We are going to say that um, I want to resolve this <coughs> according to right hand and left hand. So this force go to this side, this one go to this side. So it's mainly this one. So the force at the left hand side should be equal to the summation of all the force at the right hand side. So to resolve this one now, this is moving towards this 60. Okay? So it should be what? 10 cos 60 plus... Uh, this one is, is moving towards the 30. So it will be what? 17 cos 30. Okay? So my answer becomes what? 5 plus 17 root 3 over 2. So if you add the both of them, you get your answer. As simple as that. See, they, they don't have any question to ask.
All right. So, let's solve one more question. They said a nail. Okay, I think we have solved something like this. Which other question are we going to solve? Okay. So I think um, another question they bring in in this uh, vector is um, bearing. Okay? Is bearing. And so let's solve one question on bearing. But, uh, in fact, we're not going to solve any question on bearing, please. Another question they bring is bearing. So go to my video on bearing. I have a very nice video on bearing. So go to the video on bearing and then you'll be very fine. So thank you very much for watching. In our next, in our next video, we talk about um, vector analysis. There is a difference between vector and vector analysis. We've done vector. So the next one is vector analysis. Please, please encourage us by subscribing, liking, and giving us a very good comment. God bless you.